Voice mod is famous for the voice changing effects like this one, it's party time, etc. right? Well, they also have a soundboard feature and I like combining the voice effects with soundboard. Come with me here to my Stream Deck XL here in my studio. So for example, you know, Metal Gear sound, got that programmed in. Some Mario sounds, you know, got some meme sounds in here. Legend of Zelda Scream, you name it, all programmable in a stream deck. By the way, I very highly recommend using a stream deck with voice mods so you can control all of your sounds and put little icons here on the screen. Links in the description below for stream deck, regular 15 key, XL, and mini. I recommend the XL though because you're going to want a lot of different sound effects. Here's the way it looks in voice mod. Let's go over the setup here. When you drop into voice mod, it's going to default you on the voice box feature, which is the most popular feature here, right? All the voice changers. But soundboard is right underneath that here in the top left hand corner. And when you click this button, you will get access to all of the sound control features. It's actually deeper than you might have thought. Click this button, it'll pull up this menu right here. There's a bunch of different profiles that you can use when you're using Soundboard. You can create a new profile for yourself, or you can use one of the free profiles that come with the program or one of the pro unlocks. I'm gonna show you all of these. Create a new profile with me today, name it whatever you wanna name it here, and just follow me on the custom sounds one, because this is probably the way that you're gonna wanna go, trust me. Okay, so that's what I did here with my soundboard. I named it my soundboard. And then whenever you wanna add a new custom sound to your soundboard, you just click this plus button right here, and then you download a uh, audio effect file on your computer, and then you add it. Click the plus button and choose any sound. I'm just gonna choose a laugh track sound that I have downloaded on my computer and click open. As you can see, it adds that as a button here on the soundboard, and you can test the sound and listen to it by clicking it. <laughs> There you go, there's the laugh track. Now, what's really important to note here, and the reason why I like this soundboard and I'm recommending it, they don't pay me to say this, any of this, I'm getting zero dollars from voice mod, I'm gonna disappear, it's the customization options over here that allow you to control the volume, how you play the file back, and other features of the sound effect over here at the side. Let's go ahead and review those right now. So first of all, you can change the volume. So if the sound effect is way too loud, turn the volume up or down to normalize it versus every other sound effect. There's also different playback modes here where you can play pause when you hit it, you can play stop when you hit it, you can uh, fast forward when you hit it, and you can loop the sound effect, which is amazing. You can also choose whether you mute other sounds or mute your voice when that effect happens. And I, by default, stop other sounds as checked, which I recommend so you don't stack a million sounds on top of each other and, and it becomes a super jumbled mess. Make sense? Cool. So what you do, what I recommend is going through, clicking all of your sounds on your soundboard and leveling out your volume one by one of each of these sounds before you end up programming it into whatever program you're gonna plug it into, okay? And if at any time your sounds get out of control, there's a stop all sounds button up here at the top that'll kill all sounds across the board when you click it, and that will stop, especially if you have looping sounds that are super long that are causing issues for you. You can choose whether you have keybind set up if you don't have a stream deck by clicking this button right up here, the soundboard keybinds. So if you don't have a stream deck, use this option to program in keybinds. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna disappear for a moment. Click any of the sounds that you're looking to use, like this one, and then you're going to click the add keybind button right over here on the side. Uh, of that sound. You're gonna then click the, the add keybind button and then punch in whatever it is that you want the keybind to me. So be so like control H, for example. So whenever I hit control H, it now plays that sound effect, got it? So you don't have to have a stream deck, but you may run out of hot keys or you may be using hot keys otherwise. And so the stream deck may not be a necessary purchase for you or it is. This is a way to save money if you don't wanna buy the stream deck yet, cool? Also, you may not want to hear all of the annoying sound effects uh, during your stream, but you know you wanna play them so you can mute for yourself, depending on your audio configuration, so you can enable that to mute for yourself, cool? Personally, I don't need the keybind, so I'm going to turn that off because I have a sound deck, or stream deck, awesome. But wait, there's more. So the program comes with a number of free 
sort of sound effects. So let's just check out one of them, like these music ones are the background music that plays behind some of the other vocal effects. I'm just gonna play one, for example. Hear this song, the sound in the background, this music. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So if you enable background effects at the bottom of uh, the screen down here, it will play these different songs behind the voices that you're using. In my opinion, these are annoying and they get in the way, but it's up to you. That's what these free sounds are that come with the program. If you upgrade to Pro, that's when you actually get the good sound effects with this program. So I'm gonna go to the anime one. These are Pro sound effects, just so you can hear, and they're really high quality sound effects. So there's a gong sound effect, punch, katana, laser beam. I'm gonna demo some of them for you. As you can hear, they're pretty solid, right? So these are sound effect packs that come out with big releases with the voice mod. And so they'll release packs of voices. For example, when they did Cyberpunk, they released a pack of not only sound effects here for your soundboard, but also a number of voices to go along with it. And when you pay for Pro for voice mod, you unlock all of these sound effects and the corresponding voices that come along with it. My top recommendation to all of you is to create a new profile when you use this, and then with your new profile, you add your own custom sounds first. Then you can go ahead and program them into your stream deck one by one, either using a combination of the custom sounds that you've added or the built-in ones to experiment with what your audience responds to. And that's what I've kind of boiled mine down to along the way. And if you guys are interested in talking to me live about tech and gear and what have you, there's a link in the description below. Follow me on Amazon. I release original video content and live stream on Amazon. Let webcams, lights, uh, microphones, you name it. I'm right here on Amazon. I've got idea lists of all the best content creator gear in the entire world right here. And you can come ask me questions live right here during my streams on Amazon, where I can answer your questions about every piece of gear you could ever imagine. Talk to you about voice mod, how to grow your audiences on social media. Thank you so much for watching. Follow on Amazon and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun with your soundboard. Don't go overboard with it though. Audiences will get annoyed. Adios.